Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Hey you and welcome back to my channel. My name is Deja if this is your very first time here. So for today's video, I'm going to attempt to do this for the fourth, fourth time, the fourth time. So today I'm going to be reviewing, um, I shouldn't even say trying out anymore because I tried it three times already. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Now, if you guys watched my last video, you knew that I had an issue and a hiccup with trying to record one of my videos. This was the video that I had an issue with trying to record for the third time. So hopefully four times is the charm. So if you click on this video, that means you're interested in trying to figure out what this specific shade looks like and how it works and how the powder in, in general, exactly what it is and how it performs and stuff like that. So this powder, Rihanna made a lot of claims when it comes to this powder. It's supposed to be sweat resistant, crease resistant, humidity resistant. It's not supposed to clog your pores. It's not supposed to give you any flashback. It's supposed to be light to full coverage which uh, it's a powder this was my very first time period trying any powder foundations and i'm not gonna lie it was a struggle in general with trying to figure out my shades a lot of people if you watch reviews already on this product a lot of people said that the shade it, it's supposed to match your liquid shades and either the hydrating or the soft matte liquid foundation that she has but a lot of people said that obviously it, it's not the same thing that the paint the uh, color payoff and the powder is a lot different than what the liquid foundation is and i found that to be true um i had to get my shade swapped and it was just a hot mess trying to figure out my exact shade for this part i think I, I tried out two different colors not two different colors two different shades before i came to the conclusion that this would probably be the best fit for me so this is the shade 420 and i feel like in a liquid i will probably never be 420 maybe 400 410 but this is what I have as far as the powder. It worked out really well um, when it came to me doing my complete face or whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into it and try that out. I went ahead and repack, put it back in the package and everything. But this is what it looks like. We have this night wax, wax, white. <laughs> what is this, an octagon shape? Um, you open it up and then you have a top mirror. You have the product and then you flip it up and you have a more zoomed in mirror and then the sponge. We're going to go ahead and jump into this review tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Because <laughs> at this moment, I don't even know what it is. I didn't try to do this three times already. Um, But if you have not already, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Drop something down below in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. Let me know if you tried it, what's your thoughts on it, or let me know how you feel about the video in general or the overall look when it is finished. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. We are on the road to 200 subscribers so every click counts okay now to the review i already moisturized my face earlier when i did my eyebrows but i'm going to go ahead and do it again i'm going to try and do the same step by step and use all the pro uh, products that i did the last time because i feel like it came out so perfect last time and i was so mad that i didn't have the proper footage oh, i'm sorry so i'm going to be using um this laneige water bank moisturizing cream this is like a little mini one i got it in my birthday gift set from sephora and i absolutely love it when i finish this out i'm going to buy the full one so i'm gonna go ahead and use that get nice and moisturized obviously the better you prep your skin the better the foundation and everything the complete look is going to be okay so we are all moisturized now i'm gonna go ahead and use this primer i went ahead and picked up the laura mercier pure canvas prime uh primer it's supposed to be blurring silicone free um this is like the really really mini one i got this with my points um from sephora i just wanted to try it out so i got the mini one and i mean i feel like it really does blur your, blur your pores and give your um your foundation like a smooth base to work on but again i feel like last time i used it, it kind of dried me out so that's why i went kind of ham on the moisturizer today but i'm going to be using that all over the face it really does kind of give like a blurring effect i'm pretty sure you probably the camera isn't going to pick it up but it kind of like blurred out the shininess of my moisturizer so 
when it comes to using a powder foundation you really don't want to use it go the, use your normal process depending on what your process is when it comes to putting it on you don't want to put it on first then go over it with your liquids and creams you want to do underpainting so you want to do your liquids and your creams your concealers and all that other stuff beforehand so that when you put the powder on it's pretty much just setting it in place and covering up what you already did you don't want to put liquids on top of it because it's going to turn like muddy and stuff though so you want to do everything beforehand so that's what we're going to do so i'm going to be concealing and contouring first i'm going to be using the fenty concealer in the shade 385 this is like the shade that I normally use with what I have with her um, hydrating foundation. It, it matches my face perfectly, but when it comes to like my neck and my chest, it is like a tad bit too light. Um, but I feel like, again, for all over face-wise, this is perfect. I also feel like with this concealer, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I have to work fast when I use this. I feel like it dries down very fast. but again we're underpainting so this is the process i'm gonna go ahead and take a damp beauty blender this is my sonia kashuk i got from target I absolutely love this thing i'm gonna go ahead and i think i'm gonna use my compact mirror for this just so i can see more So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. So I'm gonna put it mainly in my inner corner. I'm gonna focus it in there and then put like, do like that little line right there to kind of give, doing this method right here, putting some in your, um, in your inner eye and then some on the outer, kind of when you blend it out, it kind of helps lift up your cheeks a little bit, so. This concealer is a little liquidy, so I'm gonna let that sit. Um, sit while that is sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and contour with my um, Fenty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. All right, so let's go ahead and blend the highlight out. This is why I let it sit because this product is super on the track. loose. Okay, so the highlight is all blended out, so I'm gonna go ahead and set just my under eye lightly. I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna like set it so it don't crease and move while I blend out the um, powder foundation. Now, on to the foundation. We have our base and everything here. Now, if you can't tell, you really gonna be only putting the powder foundation like in this bottom area because there's nothing here. We have the concealer, the contour, and then right here is just skin. So you're really gonna be focusing it in this area and kind of like blending it in on top of your concealer and your highlight so that way it's of a more unison look but you don't need that much um i feel like this is why it's also important to do this step first because you don't need as much powder and powder comes off darker the more that you apply it and pack it on what i've noticed with the powder foundation so you really don't need that much so i'm going to actually use a brush i feel like i get better coverage with the brush versus the sponge i'm going to go in with the brush first and then if i need to go over with the sponge i will so i'm just going to be taking my bh cosmetics powder brush nothing too fancy i'm going to go ahead and swirl tap whatever you want to do into the product and then like brush that on so i know it's coming on a little bit darker like i said the shade is darker than what i am but it's gonna come together Take 
tap it over everywhere else to blend in everything. I'm not really going over my under eye. I don't want that. I'm just like taking it over my concealer and where the highlight and the contour meets so it can kind of just like blend everything in. Oh my God, okay, something in my eye. Now I'm just gonna take my sponge and like pat it just a little bit. So kind of take it over. At least take it over your under eye. You don't want to put it all over because you we highlight it and conceal it for a reason. But just take it lightly over again to blend everything in. Okay, so now that we have everything on, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna re back re back. I'm gonna go in with my um setting powder again and set everywhere else where the concealer is. Like even though we put the powder over it, I just want to set it just a little bit. And this is for me, in my opinion, is what's gonna help lighten up and kind of i'm going to chisel out my jawline again Ooh, I'm spilling it. i take my brush i'm going to put this on my nose and i'm kind of getting a little bit washed out but we're gonna fix it again like i said trust the process So now that we have everything set, we're gonna go ahead and bronze. We contoured, um, I would see before the powder foundation, so we're just gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm going to use just my Elf Flawless Face, Flawless, Flawless Face Powder Brush. I told y'all I can't talk. Um, and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty um, Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I'm kinda putting this all over where you um where we contour bronzing and contour does two different things so it kind of bronzing just kind of helps give back that warm sound tan look back into your face and that is it so i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes put on some lips lippies and you know set my face all that other stuff and then we'll come back i'll come back to talking when everything is finished So this pretty much is the finished look. I went ahead and did my eyes, did a little lippy. I really didn't do any con um I can tell any highlighter because I really wanted to make the main focus to be the complexion and the skin. I really think it turned out cute. This eye combo, I wasn't even expecting it. I wasn't even gonna go this pink route, but I think it's so so cute. But overall, as far as the foundation and the face, that's what we're here for. That's what we're viewing. I think everything looks good. I think I look flawless. I think I look soft. Definitely it is giving like a little bit of a soft matte vibe. This powder foundation is definitely something different. It says that it's light to full coverage, but I feel like um this is something if you really don't want so much product on your face, if you just want to feel nice, loose, and lightweight, I really feel like the powder foundation definitely is a must or a go-to for that. My face doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel like it's a lot on. I feel my lips more than anything. Um, but yeah, I feel like that is perfect for you if you want a lightweight, natural, normal, kind of like um, everyday, I guess you could say wear. With this being a powder, I look exactly how I would look if I was to use her 
her normal foundation if you guys don't know her there's this influencer named by um her name is beats by deb on youtube and on instagram i'll leave her link of the video that i'm talking about down below in my description box but she did the review on this and she didn't do she didn't use any liquid she used all powder she brought three different shades a shade for her under eye a shade for all over and a shade to contour with and it came out looking so flawless and so beautiful that is definitely something that you can consider too if you don't want any liquids period on your face is the only thing you want to have on is powder give you a quick five ten minute beat that's it but that'll be perfect for you to pick this up in a lighter and a deeper shade i might honestly do it and try that way out again she has a lot of claims when it comes to this um powder foundation i really can't test the sweat and the humidity because i live in buffalo it is winter time right now and it's actually snowing so i can't really i really don't have any say there but i it is about six o'clock um it's a little bit later than i wanted to do when i recorded this video so i'll probably keep this on until about 11 or 12. um i'll go edit the part of the video that i'm saying now i'll while i do all of that kind of see how my face holds up and then i'll come back around like 10 or 11 and see you know as far as work wear test wise what are we looking like i'll be back in a little bit take a chance you never know but you don't know it's beautiful